When I've said that I think January 6th was way worse than the riots against police brutality, I'm certainly not talking about the violence. I mean, if I was just talking about the violence and destruction of property, then, you know, the, yeah, th those riots were a hundred times worse. Easily. Nevertheless, there are people out there who try to claim that January 6th was way more violent than the riots that took place regarding police brutality. And to me, it's just rubbish. I don't know where they get these ideas from. You know, and since then, I've constantly seen articles. There was one that just showed up in Salon, you know, it's suggesting that Republicans and right-wingers are just far more violent, almost by their very nature, than the left. And yeah, I just think that's rubbish. Especially when you look at actions that have happened over the past year and a half. Individuals who go on shooting sprees do not, as a whole, represent the political or social demographic that they come from. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of religions that wouldn't be so coddled anymore, you know? The right wing is smarter about the way they riot. I mean, it takes a lot for them to actually riot. Usually it's just some sort of a protest. But uh, when they riot, they, they're smarter about it. Heck, look, look at the far right. Look how terrorizing it was when they all carried these torches, right? Yeah, they, they, they know how to intimidate without even actually having to do anything violent, you know? The right doesn't tend to burn down blocks of cities. They try to stab at the heart of an issue, whatever it may be. Think about how short of a time the incident on January 6th actually lasted and yet how much effect it had on the country. It's not about the violence. It's about where, when, and what people were feebly attempting to do. And yes, mainstream media has amplified this to ridiculous levels. I mean, some of them are saying, oh, it's like 9-11. It's just like, are you kidding me? Now, one thing that does hold true is that the right wing tends to be more prepared for violence than the left. You know, they're the ones with the most guns. Now, some people will try to say, oh, well, well, that means they're more violent. And I'm like, uh, no, having firearms or being prepared for violence does not mean that someone is more violent themselves. That's just bullshit. But, you know, if there are violent confrontations all over the country, it, it can be assured that the right wing will be the ones to win those confrontations. I mean, and unless the military gets involved, but... What side is the military going to be on? Maybe they won't be on either side and, and they'll just try to put a stop to all of this stuff. I don't know. You know, to those of you who try to say that the right wing is more violent, I, I think some of you are just scared that if there was some sort of civil war that you'd lose. You'd lose big time. You know, I, I truly think if there is a civil war, the right wing will win this time around. I think it's totally reasonable to protest police brutality. I think it's messed up that it became so violent, but I think that's a, a reasonable thing to protest. I think it's, I mean, if people want to have a protest because they don't like the results of the election, fine, have a protest. But if you're rioting over something like that, and you're, some people are literally trying to stop democracy, you know, even though it's a feeble attempt, but you're still trying to do that, yeah, it... It, it, that's worse. I'm sorry. You know, yes, the violence was worse from the left, but the actions of the right in what they were trying to do was worse. So anyway, thanks for watching.